uh, I was told of the the rich and dramatic history of of active black culture that was progressive. Uh, the new houses, the doctors, the lawyers, the supermarket, the black-owned businesses, and how everybody would watch everybody's children. I was raised on Woodland Street in Pleasant Hill. Um, when Interstate 75 came through, we were moved to 4th Avenue, and I spent my adolescence in, on 4th Avenue. I did elementary school at Green Street Elementary in Pleasant Hill. Um, grew up, graduated from college, started working at Booker T. Washington Center in Pleasant Hill. So for most of my life, Pleasant Hill was pretty much all I had. I can remember, and I'd like to say because I'm a poet and a writer, that um, it really sticks out that John Oliver Killens uh, was born here in 1916, and he's one of the founders of the Harlem's Writer Guild, along with John Henry Clark and others, and many writers went through that guild, you know, who were famous. Maya Angelou, Sly Sanchez, Langston Hughes. So he never moved back to Macon, but he was born here in 1916. And he did a whole lot um, to put Macon on the map. Richard talks about Pleasant Hill and Macon, Georgia. Wherever he is, he was in Europe, and Richard was talking about he came from Pleasant Hill, Macon, Georgia. as a little place. It's a little place in Georgia. And he said, when I was growing up, the only folk I knew who had a Cadillac, he was lying, but um, with the Hutchins, and you didn't get to ride in that unless somebody in your family was dead. <laughs> so he, he just always, and so he has helped a whole lot of people become famous. 